program on the Clico Atom to display a QR code. That if you looked at that and held your phone up and took a picture of it, it would take you someplace on the internet. Actually, it displayed too, so I had some options there. I thought it'd be fun to do the same on the Timex Sinclair 1000. So I wrote a program to do such that. This is the program I wrote. Since the Timex Sinclair 1000 doesn't have read or data statements, I have to embed my data in a variable. Now, I could have taken the way they say in the manual and the way others do and type it in using an input statement and then save it all and then never run it. Always use a go, always use go to 10 so that I always have the variables initialized. But I figured it's easier to do it this way because that's the way you can actually see it. What I have here from lines 10 through 130 is I'm initializing a variable A string with my data for a QR code. And just so you can see what it is, reach off screen for a second. I created a QR code on my PC, and then I created a copy of the QR code in hexadecimal, where each two pixel by two pixel block is an actual character from the character set of the Timex Sinclair 1000. And just so you know what I'm talking about there is, this character set right here. And so the character set for the Timex Square 1000 from 0 to 7 are pixels that correspond to pixels that are used in QR codes. And then from 128 through 135, there are also pixels that are reverses of them. So I encrypted this QR code into Tyrus Sinclair 1000 slash ZX81 ASCII code. And this is the QR code I encrypted. So now I encrypted that code into this variable. And I'm going to iterate through that variable. And I'm going to convert it to text or data for the screen. What I do is the variable P is my position. So I start on 1 and I just move my way up. I'm using Y for my rows. X for my columns. So I read in, if you just look at the loops there, the 4Y loop is 13 loops because it's, it's 20, the QR code is 21 pixels by 21 pixels. I had to add some extra padding so it comes out to 13 lines either way. 13 lines, 13 columns. So I iterate through it. First off what I do in 230 is I assign the variable A to the code, which is the ASCII value of a dollar sign P to P. So in the case at the beginning of it, I'm assigning the variable A to the ASCII value of the number 7, which is the first position. P to P, if P is 1, then 1 to 1 is 7. So I'm assigning A to that ASCII value, which in the case of, I keep putting the book over here, I should just leave the book here. In the case of the Tommy Sinclair 1000, the number 7 is 35. And then I go through doing the same, well, 35, I'm sorry. I assign it to 35 minus 28, so I bring it down. See, the values for the hex values are from 28 through 43 is their codes, their ASCII's. So when I load it in, I subtract 28 to get a value, what I'm reading out of here, of from 0 through F, which in hexadecimal is 0 through 15. So I read that in there. Uh, I assign A to that code value. I increment P to my next position, so I'm ready for it. Then I look at A, and if it's over 7, if it's 8 or greater, then I know it's the high value of it. So I add 120 to it to make it A is now either equal to 0 through 7, or 128 through 130, was it 135, I believe? Through 135. Then I just print that on the screen. Then I do the next column, next x. Then if I get to, once I finish x, I print a blank line, or a printed carriage which would actually bring me to the next line. Then I do the next y, and I do this until the screen is done. Now I'm going to generate this QR code on the screen. And I'm going to fast forward through it so you don't have to watch it, but again, it's not that slow. When it's done, take out your cell phone, or your tablet, whatever way you have reading QR codes, 
Snap a picture of it and see where it takes it to you. Takes you to. There we go. That's a QR code on uh, ZX81, Timex Sinclair 1000. Like I said, take your cell phone. Take your cell phone like this. Open up your camera option or whatever way you have of reading QR codes. Point it at the screen. And see where it says it wants to take you.